Welcome to the KQT Health Learning Management System lesson for general communications, working with the dispatch team. Please make sure your device volume is appropriate to allow you to hear the materials as they are presented. KQT Health is a team with one mission. Provide safe and efficient medical transport services to our clients. Everyone in the company plays an important role to the success of our mission. Customer service staff take requests for transports and work with the clients to determine the appropriate resources needed to complete the transport. Dispatchers will assign field crews to complete transport assignments to meet the requested service times based on the entire volume of current and scheduled calls. Field staff completes the assigned transports safely and efficiently, providing excellent customer service to our clients. Dispatchers have the responsibility to maintain an overall on-time service rating of 80% or above. On-time service is a key metric used by KQT Health to measure our success at providing excellent customer service to our clients. As a field provider you will be focused on your individual transport assignments as you receive them. But, the dispatcher is making decisions that are based on the big picture. In addition to assigning transport calls to field crews, the dispatchers are making phone calls to facilities to update transport pickup times, making hospital notification calls, and speaking with field staff to help resolve problems and concerns. The dispatchers must coordinate and track the movement of all field staff assigned to their zone in order to maximize crew and driver efficiency. In these images, you can see an example of the multiple computer screens that the dispatcher is watching in order to monitor the status of each call and field crew. Remember to be patient with the dispatchers. While you are only talking to a single dispatcher, they are staying in constant contact with 10 to 20 crews throughout the shift. The number one responsibility of field crews is to provide safe and efficient transport services to our customers, clients, and patients. Once you have been assigned a transport call, you are expected to complete that assignment in a safe and efficient manner. Remember an important aspect of the KQT Health Customer Service Plan is on-time service. KQT Health strives to maintain an overall on-time success rating of 80%. You are a crucial part of achieving that goal. Completing assigned transports without unnecessary delays, in the safest way possible is your top responsibility as a member of the field staff at KQT Health. KQT Health staffing schedules are created based on the historic transport data and the anticipated volume of scheduled transports. The numbers of transports in a previous time period is tracked to help us gauge the anticipated need in order to determine proper staffing levels. The number of field crews scheduled at any given time is designed to allow KQT Health to achieve the goal of an on-time performance rating of 80% or better. As field staff you play an important part of reaching that goal through your attendance and punctuality for your scheduled shifts. If you are unexpectedly absent from your scheduled shift or if you arrive late for a scheduled shift that will have a significantly negative impact on our ability as a company to be on time for scheduled transport calls. If you call out for a scheduled shift or arrive late for your scheduled shift, other crews will need to be reorganized and reassigned in order to make up for the delays created by your absence or lateness. It is imperative that you fulfill your schedule commitments. You must make every effort to be present and on time for all of your scheduled shifts. This may require extra planning or travel time especially during inclement weather events. Your next responsibility in maintaining a good on-time performance is getting your vehicle in service as quickly as possible. You are expected to arrive at work, ready to work at your assigned start time. Upon arrival and clocking in for your shift, you will get your vehicle assignment, communications equipment, and other accountable supplies from the vehicle service technician. Next, you must complete the mandatory start of shift vehicle checkout for your assigned vehicle. Complete the appropriate forms to document your vehicle checkout findings and to report any deficiencies that you have discovered. The crew assigned to the vehicle before you should have left it in a fully ready state but it is your duty to ensure all necessary equipment is present and functional before going on the road for your first call. Paratransit and life program crews are allotted 10 minutes to complete the start of shift vehicle check as they are the simplest with the least amount of equipment to check. Basic life support ambulance crews are allotted 15 minutes to complete their start of shift vehicle and equipment checks. 
Advanced life support ambulance crews are allotted 20 minutes to complete their start of shift vehicle and equipment checks, including medication accountability. Dispatchers will expect that you will be ready for call assignments after the allotted time for vehicle and equipment checks from the start of your scheduled shift time. As an example if you are part of a basic life support ambulance crew with a 7 a.m. start time you would be expected to be ready for your first call at 7.15. Communication is key. Keeping the dispatcher informed about your status and needs is critical to maintaining the operational goal of an 80% on time performance. You are not permitted to make unauthorized stops before, during, and in between transport assignments for any reason. You must work with your dispatcher to coordinate all non-transport stops, including fueling the vehicle, getting meals, and restroom breaks. We are not trying to prevent you from taking breaks or getting food. Our goal is to ensure those things happen without interrupting the operations of the company. Could you imagine the delays and the service interruption that would occur if everyone chose to take a break at the same time? The dispatchers will give you the time for personal breaks and to obtain meals but you must coordinate appropriate timing by working with the dispatchers. In addition, remember, that any time you exit your vehicle make sure you have your communication device with you. Dispatch may need to reach you for an urgent issue. Keystone Quality Transport currently uses two different communication systems for field operations. Delaware and Maryland operations use the Trauma Soft system. Pennsylvania-based operations use the Rescue Net system. KQT is in the process of moving to one communication system for all operations, which will be the Trauma Soft system. You will receive system-specific training for the communication system that you will be using during your field training experience. No matter what type of transport is being completed, paratransit or ambulance. Every transport has a series of call phases that are key points during the transport event. By having a clear understanding of what the call phases are and using common terminology to identify them, you will be better able to communicate your status and progress throughout the transport event. A brief summary of the six phases of a call are Dispatch. The dispatcher will assign a transport event your unit. En route. Your unit is actively moving to the pickup location. At scene. When your unit arrives at the pickup location. Transporting. Your unit is moving to the destination with the client patient on board. At destination. When your unit arrives at the drop-off location. Available. Once your unit is ready to be assigned to another transport event. Over the next few minutes we will take a more in-depth look at each of these call phases. Once you have completed your vehicle checkout and you are in service, the dispatcher may have you report to a post assignment. When there is not an immediate need for a crew to complete a transport the dispatcher will stage units, in locations where future transports are scheduled. A post assignment must be treated like any other transport call. You are expected to proceed to your assigned location immediately. Most post locations have access to restrooms and food services. When your unit is assigned a run by dispatch, your communication system device will alert you that a transport has been assigned to you. You must acknowledge receiving the assignment by clicking the appropriate status button on your communications device. Be sure to fully read the dispatch notes for the pending transport. These notes will tell the client patient's name, pickup location, destination, and if any equipment or supplies will be required to complete the transport. The dispatcher may also provide you with additional details about your transport over the radio or by a phone call. It is important that you always keep your communications device with you whenever you exit your vehicle. Having the communications device with you will allow you to immediately know about and acknowledge transport assignments. A special note about radio etiquette. Keystone Quality Transport uses plain speak for all radio and phone conversations. We do not use 10 codes or any other type of coded communications. Just say your message as if you were speaking to the dispatcher face to face. After acknowledging the transport assignment, determine the best route of travel to the pickup location. The terms pickup location and referring facility can be used interchangeably. Both terms provide you with the location, the street address or the facility name, where your transport assignment is originating from. GPS devices are good tools to use for planning your response route. 
Even if you know the way to the location the GPS device can provide an estimated travel time to the location. You should report anticipated delays or extended response times to the dispatcher immediately. As a safety reminder if you are using a GPS device to navigate. Program the device and set it down. The driver operator of the vehicle should never have a handheld device in hand while the vehicle is in motion. As soon as you have determined the best route of travel to the referring facility, click the on route status button on your communications device and then proceed immediately to the pickup location without making unauthorized stops. Many of the facilities that we service have specific parking locations for non-emergency medical transport services. Therefore, upon arrival at the pickup location, park your vehicle in the appropriate designated area if applicable. Caution. Parking areas designated for ambulances may not apply to paratransit vehicles. Additionally, both paratransit vehicles and ambulances should avoid parking in handicap designated parking spots. After parking your vehicle proceed immediately inside to the pickup spot. Be sure your vehicle is turned off and secured when exiting. You must report immediately to the pickup area or nursing station for the client patient's location. Your goal is to be present at your client's side before the scheduled time of pickup. If there are delays for any reason contact dispatch to advise them of the situation. Remember to always carry your communications device with you at all times and stay in contact with your dispatcher. On scene interactions between Keystone Quality Transport staff and the client patient will vary based on the type of service whether it is an ambulance or para-transit transport and the individual attributes of the call itself. During in-person training you will learn about specific care expectations and procedures that will be completed during your client contact encounter. Typically, this will include things such as receiving reports, preparing the client patient for transport, and obtaining all required documentation items. Once you have your client safely secured on the stretcher or wheelchair and loaded properly into the transport vehicle you are ready to proceed to the drop-off location. Safety Reminder Everyone in the vehicle must be secured with a seat belt or appropriate device straps, anytime the vehicle is in motion. Verify your travel route and estimated time to the destination location by using a GPS device. Be sure to click the Transporting Status button on your communications device to update dispatch on your status. You may also hear the destination location referred to as the receiving location. When you arrive at the receiving facility, park your vehicle in the appropriate location. Some of our facilities have specifically designated parking areas and entranceways for non-emergency medical transport. Remove the client patient from the transport vehicle and take them into the drop-off location. Make contact with staff or whomever will be accepting responsibility for the client to determine specifically where they are going inside the facility. Move the client off of the transport device to a safe location, this could be a bed or chair. Place any belongings or personal items in a location that the client patient knows where they are and can reach them if needed. Ambulance crews must obtain signatures on the transfer of care form from the person taking responsibility of the client patient. This will be discussed in detail during the EMS documentation class that you will complete during your in-person training. After the client patient has been safely dropped off, return to your vehicle to clean and decontaminate the vehicle itself and any equipment that you use during the transport according to KQT health infection control policies. If you use disposable supplies during the transport, such as oxygen deliver devices, replace those items at the receiving location whenever possible. Once your vehicle and equipment have been cleaned and restored, use your communications device to mark yourself available by clicking on the available status button. This will let the dispatcher know that you are ready to receive your next transport assignment. We use status buttons on our communications devices in order to limit the amount of times field crews need to speak directly to dispatchers. The use of status buttons is quicker and more efficient than speaking and the use of status buttons automates the documentation of crew status in the computer-aided dispatch system. However, there are several times that you may need to contact dispatch to provide them with important information using either a phone or radio. 
If your transport is delayed during travel because of weather issues, traffic, or any other situation, you must notify the dispatcher immediately. If you arrive at a pickup location and the client patient is not ready for transport for any reason, you must notify the dispatcher immediately. Anytime you are not actively transporting a client patient, this could be due to a post assignment or a wait and return assignment for a client patient at a physician's appointment. You must check in with the dispatcher every 20 minutes in order to update them on your waiting situation and availability. Remember that you are not authorized to make any stops before, during, or after a transport for food, fuel, or restroom without contacting the dispatcher first. All pit stops must be approved by your dispatcher. As a company, we have a goal of maintaining an on time performance rating of 80% or better. This is one of our best methods of building excellent customer service. It is important that every employee at Keystone Quality Transport does their part to achieve that goal. As a field staff member, you must be on time, ready to work, and stay in contact with dispatch. Recall the dispatchers are watching the big picture and pay attention to multiple field crews to coordinate many different transports. Proper communications with the dispatch team allows us to complete transports efficiently and meet our company goal. Remember to always stay in contact with the dispatch team. Thank you for viewing this KQT Health Learning Management System presentation about general communications, working with the dispatch team. If you have any questions about the content of this presentation, please contact a member of the training and certification team. Please complete the associated quiz for this program.